was not bad at all. After wandering, you know, wandering, around, wandering a few days, what to do, and like that. On Saturday, February 20th, Barbados ramped up its rollout of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine with the setup of satellite vaccination centers in communities across the island. It was all part of the effort to combat the feared COVID-19 virus. Two such centers were the Checker Hall Community Center in St. Lucie and the Globe Drive-In in Christchurch. The process works as you drive up. You are first entered into our medical records database, the MedData. Once you are entered into the database, you then drive on to the under 10 where you receive your vaccination and then you receive your immunization card which is stamped and signed by the health system vaccinating you and then you move on to the shape app tent where a person records the information and enters you into the shape app database not even the threatening clouds could stop the elderly from keeping their vaccination appointments i think it makes perfectly good sense to have a vaccine we are not a big island and this thing could spread like wildfire if we don't protect ourselves. So our vaccine is the best bet now for protecting, especially people in my age group. Um, I think it's the right thing to do to have the vaccine. It's good for me and it's good for everybody in Barbados. And I also want to go and see my grandchildren in England and I haven't seen them for ages. So <laughs> lots of things that prompted me to have the vaccine. Well, I'm taking the vaccine because I'm acutely aware that every Barbadian, everybody in Barbados should take it. Otherwise, the spread will continue and we will be out of control. I took it for protection because I, I work, I still work at 75. I feel happy with the vaccine and I feel very good with it. And I will encourage anybody to come and get it. It is very good. It got my feeling which we are mistake. <laughs> No, it's a real mistake. No. <laughs> you ready to stay? <laughs> and I feel happy. I'm going on with it now. <laughs> How old are you now, Marley? 61. I mean 71. <laughs> oh, no, I feel too young now. We're getting it. <laughs> 71. Uh, I just received the, the, the vaccine. And it, no, no pain whatsoever. I didn't even feel a stick. And um, I will recommend to all to please come and have the vaccine to protect our country. And this is what our Prime Minister has been telling us to do. A very nice Prime Minister. And we should all listen to her. Uh, the response has been overwhelming. Um, I must apologize to the public for the first couple of days when we had some issues where the appointment system was not working as it should. But certainly we have got that sorted and, and so people don't think because we have not called them they have been left out. There are, there are categories and we'll eventually get to all categories and eventually the entire population, 18 and over, will be vaccinated. We have a team comprising of doctor, one doctor, there's some nurses, health sisters, staff nurses, um, our orderly, our maid, um, the ships are team as well as our records officers. We are vaccinating persons over 70 and those who have chronic non-communicable diseases. Vaccinations are voluntary and so we can't make people take the vaccinations. So when I set up my command center, we looked at the numbers of people in each electoral district. So if there are 21,000 people over 75, if there are 44,000 people, 65 and above, we looked at that and we then did the scheduling. The, the issue is we can't give you an appointment because it is based on the numbers coming and so we will call you when your turn comes. So because you have registered, if you are 25 years old and you registered, you should not have been able to register because we only issued logins for people for 70 and above and 18 to 69 with chronic non-communicable diseases and then that list goes to a medical committee who actually approve those people. So it's not a, a free for all. So once we have done all the vulnerable, we'll eventually go. So as the more vaccines arrive, 
we will eventually be able to do the entire population.